Upon tuning in this morning, I heard what you don't see coming. So today's read, instead of being a general guidance, is just going to be what's going on in the background that you obviously don't see coming. <laughs> We're going to start off with the jar messages, full messages, to kind of get us started on who this message is for. That's way too many. All right, I've got three here. So if these resonate or make sense, then this is just part one that this message is for you. My hair is sticking up. I'm sorry. All right, the first one says, if you do not have a clear path for what you want, make one. The second one says, there is hope even when you feel that there isn't. And lastly, we have, don't be afraid to start over. It's a chance for something better. So if those resonated, then this just might be for you. So at the bottom of the deck here, I always pre-shuffle before recording. It is the five of Gabriel or the five of wands. I'm going to set that down. <laughs> and the five of wands usually talks about conflict. So the card says, though, that it is a conflict or a challenge that you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others and have patience with yourself and those around you. So let's see what it is that you don't see coming or what's going on in the background for you. The first card that came out, look at that. Change your life. A, a sudden revelation that offers freedom, breaking free of procrastination and embracing opportunities that change brings. So if you don't have a clear path for what you want, make one and there is hope. Let, that is the number 16 that also reduces down to number seven for those who love numbers. Oop, that one flew out. This card, the four of Michael, which is the four of, sword, four of swords, insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. And can I get one more, please? For what we don't see coming, strength. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. That is the number 11. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of Michael, that there's a better course of action available for you. Working alone may not be the best answer review all of the details. Ooh, so somebody might be coming for you. So we have change your life, the four of Michael, just the four of swords and the strength card. So you're going to, oops, you're going to have an idea that is going to come to you. If it hasn't already, that is going to make your own path. But this idea is probably scary. It is a complete change of direction and you're scared, but it's a chance to make something better. The four of Michael um, is telling you that insights come from quiet meditation. So this idea will come when you quiet your mind. Um, now, when people think of meditation, they think of sitting and being quiet. It doesn't have to be meditation is any time that you can just clear your mind. Ironically for me, I get a lot of my downloads or a lot of insight when I am driving because my mind is clear. <laughs> I'm listening to my favorite songs and my mind is clear. Um, I also get a lot of messages through music. So that absolutely could be what's happening to you. You could be getting songs. You could be getting insight from music, but this idea is going to come from being quiet. And kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness is the strength card here. So I also feel if this is not an idea that you're getting to change your path, it's the fact that you've already done this, but you're lacking the self-confidence needed to be successful because confidence equals success. As much as people don't like that, the more confident you are in yourself and the more confident you appear, the more successful you will be. So what I'm getting from this read overall is you're going to get an idea. It's going to come to you through meditation or just being quiet. 
seeking silence in your brain for five minutes or because this is a collective read so I get a couple of different avenues here or you've already gotten this idea and your angels are working on in the background giving you the confidence that you need to go through this to do this change to make this change your angels are giving you the hope the kind the kindness the grace the um speaking abilities if you need it but overall they're giving you the confidence to do this and to do this successfully um and then with this card they may also bring you another individual to help this move along so overall i'm getting that your angels are just giving you the confidence to take the steps needed to change your life and uh i think it was friday's read they all blur together there was the song um dark days that i was talking about by point north i think i always mess it up point north and it's about being somebody who's just been through it in life right the, the lyrics talk about growing up can be so hard sometimes we lose friends and family dies and then it goes on to talking about being judged and criticized and how it makes us be in this negative mindset and lose hope and the song is about flipping that and saying you know what i'm not gonna live this life anymore i'm gonna focus on being positive and being happy because that sucks and in my opinion, it also basically even talks about cutting people out of your life that are bringing you down. Overall, you're having a change of direction. So actually, that could be it. You have a change of direction in your life. That's what you don't see coming. It's a change of direction that is going to come from quieting your mind. It's going to come out of nowhere, all right? And your angels are working on giving you the strength and the courage to take this change so that you can change your life in that positive way. Now, I always want to emphasize because I know when people talk, when we talk about angel card readings and angel readings and all of that, this doesn't have to be some big major revelation or change in your life. It absolutely can be. But just changing your way of thinking is a major change in your life. Just like the song I talked about, I'm done with these dark days. Just making that decision absolutely will change your life. Bringing in meditation, quiet time into your life will change your life, okay? But your angels have got you. They are working on it in the background. Don't be afraid. There is absolutely hope. Make a new path for yourself if you haven't already. And it's every day is a new day. Every day is a new day to start over and to make that change. I hope this message helped you today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.